Hello everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Now that we have finished with all of the two sword campaigns, we only have the three sword campaigns and then historical battles left to finish off. We are two thirds of the way there boys, but we have saved the toughest ones for the end. Today I'll be playing Barry. The first level of it, uh, titled Arrival at Barry, appropriately so. I believe we play as the Byzantines this level. No particular achievement for any of the levels in this campaign, so let's just go ahead and get into it. I left the walls drenched in the sweat and blood of the tenacious Norman besiegers. My comrades and I usually would rush straight to the inn after a fight, but not today. My father, the heroic Michael Nauticus, savior of Bari, awaited me. I found a wizened old man staring out the window towards the enemy camp. Foul, treacherous, mercenary scum. Son, the inhabitants of this peninsula have courted mercenaries for centuries. Not one bit of good it did them. Weary of discussing Normans whose nature I knew all too well, I inquired about our rich family heritage. I asked my father instead to tell me of our ancestor, Panos. My father spun round, his eyes gleaming. You wish to hear the story of the family? Our Greek blood runs back generations. Nauticus, our surname. It is so because we came as sailors. In the year 869, the knight Panos Nauticus answered the summons of his Byzantine liege, Emperor Basil II. He was to lead a force by sea to aid our ally, Louis II, the Frankish king against the emirate of Bari. Oh, it's pronounced Bari. Okay, well, duly noted. Okay, oh, well, our main objectives here are to wait for instructions from Emperor Louis II. Our hints tell us that the Byzantine forces are restricted to the castle age in a population limit of 125. Leave the siege of, and I legit just noted it and I forgot it. It's not Barry. Bari? Yeah, I think Bar I think it was Bari. Leave the siege of Bari to the Franks. Concentrate instead on your objectives, but keep an eye on Emperor Louis's forces. You will lose if the Saracens succeed in wiping out your allies' siege camp. Okay. Do not hesitate to construct fishing ships. The ocean offers plenty of food. As with any battle, tactics are important. Use proper counter units when possible. Pikemen are more effective against cavalry than crossbowmen or swordsmen, and cataphracts are versa versatile troops that are especially deadly to infantry. Your scouts report that Panos Nauticos and his army in purple have arrived at the coast in the south to come to the aid of Emperor Louis II. Emperor Louis II in blue is currently besieging Bari in red, which lies to the east and is occupied by the Saracen Emirate in green. Louis will train pikemen, crossbowmen, heavy cavalry, and swordsmen to defend his siege camp. Although he commands a disciplined army, he may occasionally rely on Byzantine help to fend off Saracen attacks. The Saracen army in yellow has erected four camps near Bari, threatening Louis's forces. The Saracens will launch attacks against both you and the Franks. Their army consists of pikemen, genitores, camelry, mounted archers, light cavalry, and knights. That's a lot of different units. It is quite likely that they will also construct siege weapons such as battering rams. Matera in orange lies to the west. The city is allied with the Saracens and will train Genoese crossbowmen, archers, and spearmen. Man, there's a lot going on. It's just the first level. Oria in Cyan is situated to the north. Just like Bari, it is currently controlled by a Saracen garrison. <laughs> yeah. Say that five times fast. Saracen garrison. But its inhabitants will surely join your side once the Saracen occupiers have been defeated. Okay, so Cyan is potentially good. Um, Blue is also good. Matera is evil. All right. We are, we got a lot of things going on here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Panos Nauticos, my forces will keep the Saracens defending Bari occupied, but you and your Byzantines must ensure that the enemy cannot threaten us from the rear. I, I, Sane, I, Panos, 
Our scouts have located the enemy position. If we catch them unprepared, our swift victory will be certain. Okay, so now let's just pause real quick. We have the objective to maintain the siege of Barry, uh, and Louis pronounced Barry the way that I normally pronounce this, so I'm assuming both pronunciations are okay. Uh, we have to destroy four Saracen docks, destroy four Saracen camps, and uh, optional objectives are to liberate Oria and destroy Matera's castle. This must be Matera's castle. Yep. All right. Cool. Ein. We've got Panos himself. Now I do note that uh, keeping him alive was optional. So let's just scout around for a little bit and think about destroying some camps. And we've only started in the feudal age, which is kind of rough. Our units have no upgrades and I don't know if they're going to be getting any more because... They may have been Gaia units. It's a lot of fish to be had. And the Saracen army is in the Castle Age. Let's have all future villagers go for wood and scout just a little bit. There's a boar here, I wonder if we can lure it. Kappa. Got some stone mines over there as well. Looking good. Let's try to boom up our economy just a little bit. Get some fishing ships out. Oops. Did our scout die? Looks like our scout died. Rip! Where did he go? Guess we'll need a stable to replace our scout at the very least. And I don't think Byzantines or Byzantines get uh, bloodlines. So you don't need the stable just to get the bloodlines. Let's grab double bit axe. And I wonder if we need to worry about uh, fishing here or our navy. There's a lot of fish out here in the water though. Tons and tons of fish. Let's not get ourselves housed. Of course, as I say that, we immediately get housed. So I'm going to pick up Wheelbarrow. Our warships will send any vessels that approach our harbor to the bottom of the sea. Alright, well, I haven't approached their harbor, so maybe they'll leave me alone, since we're technically the ones on the offensive here. Let's build that stable like we promised. And keep turning out villagers. I think we'll go for this camp first.
Byzantines get uh, cheaper trash units. So I would like to use those to their full effect. And I guess we can start thinking about advancing to the Castle Age here. Still relatively low on villagers. Get another galley out just in case. Scatter around a little bit. ours by Turn back now or be heard from its battlements. Okay, so there's Umterra. Housed again. I'm very, very good at this game, as you can tell. If it isn't already abundantly obvious. Okay, well, uh, we have the resources. We just need to build the blacksmith now. Let's pick up Fletching here as well. No, Panos, don't die on me, bro. Don't die on me. Nice. And we should theoretically be okay here. Let's have you guys start picking up stone. Yeah, we're fine. Got lots of food income coming out still. Let's start grabbing some techs. Or we'll repair up the TC afterwards. Oh, you annoying little butthead. Okay, we'll kill, we'll kill the scout too. We need more wood. Kindle this fire in our hearts, or does the fatal desire of each man become divine Fine. to him? My mind has long urged me to charge into battle. Impero. Impero. That's a lovely and rousing speech. But uh, we should make sure that we get enough wood here. So that uh, we can actually do some useful stuff. That attack was kind of rough. I think we need to get enough stone to get a castle up. And some additional TCs too. But more importantly, we need wood. We need a second TC if we can. 
Our fishing eco is doing great here. Let's finish up these houses. Pick up our next wood tech. Pick up our gold mining tech as well. Think about getting gill nets too at some point. Now we're pop limited to... I think 125 it was? So we can move up to like 60 villagers. Let's grab stone mining. Keep the villager queue up. And it looked like they had a lot of cavalry there. So more than likely, we want to get some pikemen out. Uh, but first, let's get ourselves a TC. We'll have enough for a castle soon as well. Start thinking about gill nets too. Build up that barracks. Fishiko is doing wonderful work for us. We need more food. Got lots of text to research. It's probably another incoming attack soon that we need to be ready for. Seems like we're safe on the water, actually. Uh, it would be a massive blow to our eco if they attacked us on the water, but it seems like since they're playing defensively, it wouldn't really be thematic. We have no one on gold either. Let's change that. Let's get a couple more spearmen out. Get ourselves a university as well. And upgrade to pikemen. Let's build a couple more houses here. So we don't have to worry about housing for the near future. Get a few more villas as well. And think about gill nets. Screaming and beating their scimitars upon their shields. Defend the camp. Protect our siege engines. Okay, so we need to act soon. We'll be under attack from both angles soon. Okay, wow. Uh, we are under some rough fire there. Are we just... Are we straight up just gonna lose the camp right away? Interesting. Venatu. 
Yeah, it looks to be that way, huh? Okay, so we're actually not in great shape now. We're under a lot of time pressure here. We have a good eco. Build a couple more barracks. Not fortified wall to get murder holes. Keep producing bills. Start sending units over in defense. Yeah, we're operating on a very limited time space now. Saracen riders sally forth, screaming and beating their scimitars upon their shields. Defend the camp. Protect our siege engines. Okay, getting the one castle up has been nice. Let's get more camels going, more pikes as well. And get a siege workshop so we can start building rams. We'll also want Bod Canera once we get the food. Heavy plow first, then we can do Bod Canera. Start getting rams out. And another barracks here. For more pikes. Let's actually repair their barracks for them. Lovely. Here at home we're still doing just fine. Got lots of resources. Good. Let's garrison up in our castle to keep them healed. We can send our soldiers out once we need them. I was looking a little bit rough there for a little while. Start thinking about eliminating some camps here. Let's do this camp first. Seems to be the most annoying one. Pick up gold shaft mining. Let's repair up this archery range as well. And start picking up more military technologies. Bobkin it is. We can do ballistics next. We already have bow saw. Cool. Yeah, it looks like 
building navy was pretty pointless. Do I need arson? I can pick arson. What's our uh, fire galley? Eh. Eh! We don't need that. Uh, at least for this mission. We haven't gotten any of our infantry upgrades yet. Rip us. Let's get a couple more battering rams out. Got lots of gold now. Let's start churning out cataphracts. Build a stable here. There's a camp here as well that we can take out. It's a lot of guard towers. Grab patrol, grab ballistics, and we're actually at our pop cap already, so that's interesting, I guess. I think we're about to be attacked, so we'll have some new population space coming in soon. Let's pick up gill nets. Start mining this gold here. Pick up light cavalry. And start our assault now in earnest. We can keep our camels at home. Let's bring our pikemen and our cataphracts forward for this. Do we ever pick up husbandry? I think we did. Let's grab the final military upgrade there. We can start crushing this base now. One camp at a time here. Doesn't look like these guys have too much in them. Oh, our eco is getting slashed here. We lost like five villagers. We're gonna lose a few more, unfortunately. We can just train them back up. We should be okay. I'm glad we got a castle set up here. I knew Matera was gonna attack us sooner or later. Okay, I'm not too worried about that area just yet. Let's clean up this camp. And repair this castle. Villagers are back to work. Good. Sadly, our allies don't seem to have a market for us to trade with. Unfortunate. Guess that means we'll need to be a little bit more careful with our gold units. We're almost one camp down. Send these bad boys back to work. And let's build a couple of archery ranges here. 
Main reason being that archery ranges can build skirmishers and skirms. You were lucky enough to destroy one of our camps. But our swift horsemen will soon ride you down into the dust. Yeah, sure, buddy. We got camel riders. We're Byzantines, dude. Let's make our way over north here to the second camp. Yep. And so long as Matera doesn't train siege units, we should be more than safe from them. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just have to be careful if they produce any rams or something like uh, something like that. Army's pretty slow. Okay, more gold to be had here. We should try to secure that since our gold piles are going to run low soon. But we have plenty of resources. I don't think we're going to need archers, really. Um, especially with our relatively low pop cap. But, we have extra resources, so we might as well use use them to spend... We might as well spend them on the techs. We got the hill bonus. We're going to get that boar. Things are looking good for us now. Let's get on these towers. Go for that boar. And continue making sure that we're using all of our military units. We can actually think about uh, liberating or destroying Matera's castle soon as well. We need to destroy these docks somehow. So I guess we will need navy at some point, right? By the looks of it, so we might as well start investing in war galley and careening now. Let's have this villager build some more docks here for us. Okay, that's two camps down. How do we liberate Aurea? We just need to kill the Saracens that are defending it. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad. Man, I love Cataphracts. They, they look so cool. It's a shame they're so damn expensive. Because as a unit, they're just really, really damn cool. We hold Aurea with an iron fist. If the Lombards fail to rest it from us, how will you ever succeed? I don't know, man. We just scout it out, figure out what soldiers you've got, and uh, kill them, you know? Seems pretty straightforward. That's a bunch of camels, so we'll use pikes. Right. 
Let's not use our cataphracts. Let's use our pikemen. Hey, would you look at that? Are you winning, son? We're winning. We have run out of stone. Let's build ourselves a castle right at the front of their base here. We've got some pikemen patrolling. We got more camels. So we'll probably need to bait those guys out with a pikeman at some point. We can just build a castle in their face too. Should also work just as well. Yeah, and we'll save our, our navy buildup until later. Yeah, it seems like we're going to need to free up population space to do that anyway. So, as sad as it is, I think we split this first level into a couple of different phases. Yeah, cataphracts kind of shred pikes, so it should be more than okay here. Got hit by a wave from the Saracen army, but this is truthfully not a problem because we got the castle up in time. And we still have units in here, just need to keep producing. Population just dropped really much by a huge amount, actually. That's okay, we can just re replace it with some higher quality population. If our pop cap was 200, you know, it, it would already be over. Liberate Oria, killing the Saracens. Ooh, we got most of them. That's a lot of cavalry archers. Guess technically speaking, skirms are the counter to that. But they can't even really do anything to our rams. Let's try baiting them in. Heavy cavalry archers. Wow, look at them. Puno. 
A él, tres porro. A él, puño. Trago. Sale con muta. A él, puño. They don't stand a chance. In their gratitude, the nobles of Goria have withdrawn their support behind us. Nice. So now we have Goria on our side. That was, as they say, easy. And now we can make our merry way. Oh, we lost the villager there. Rip. Now we can make a merry way back down to kill this camp. And do I even care about destroying Matera's castle? Like, they're not really doing much. Stone mine now. We can capture that. But yeah, we've uh, we've already effectively beaten the level. Now it's just a matter of cleanup. Cataphracts, pikemen, camels. Should all be very nice. We're scouting with the ram, guys. Lots of stone over here, actually. Two separate piles. It's good to know, good to have. And we're rounding out on three camps destroyed soon. Got tons and tons of resources. We could spam resources for days. These kids think they have a chance. Look at our ram train. Choo choo. is giving us tribute now, so we have even less of a need for economy. And we can press forward on towards the fourth camp soon. They don't even have the second defense upgrade. What are they doing? Come on, Saracens. Quality of your soldiers is just too low. I guess we can get a market of our own for max scouting. Ah, 
And this will be one of our primary objectives fulfilled. Only one more left after this. I suppose we can take a detour. Oh my god. Uh, so, Matera is still in it to win it, evidently. And if we needed to, we could trade for gold here. But I don't think we need to. Saracen cavalry, flee your spears like rats from prowling cats. Yep. We're good at this game. And cataphracts are cool, who would have thought. Man, one treb would have been more than enough to knock these guys out. Might as well send the rest of our land force this way, actually. Come, come to my castle to get eaten. Yeah, that's right, that's right, get baited. Is there a gate here? There's a gate here. Alright, take out the gate first. Yeah, I was just thinking it was weird. It would have been real weird if they had a, a castle, a city that was only gated in from one side. Tons of population. Break the castle. And once we break the castle, Matera should go down pretty easily. And after that happens, we can go about completing our final task. Retire those villagers now that they've done their duty. Castle's down. The patricians in Matera come to me begging for mercy. Their tribute alone will be enough to pay my knights for months. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. It's all part of all part of all part of the job, you know. So now I guess we can move. I guess we can move our army back here, but I'm thinking that we just do a bunch of war galleys now. And we've got no need for land military, so let's just delete some of these. Again, kind of weird because of the pop cap. I suppose what we could do... is instead go for transport ships. Get 
gather our soldiers over here, load them onto transports. Oops, just a little bit of lag there. Oh, we actually discovered a small gold pile here. Not that we really need it. Might as well grab it. Clear out more pop headroom. Bring the boats over. Rams are also marching on over. We got crap tons of boats queued up now. All right, Navy, where you at? There you at. Let's make a mad dash for it. If they die, we get population space. So either way, it's a win-win. Right, we lost one of the transports. I just more room for our galleys. Oh come on, this navy's barely anything. I was supposed to be intimidated by this. Wait, why am I making trade cogs? No, I want uh, galleys. I guess with the non-stop trigger spam, they are a little bit troublesome. Wait, they have a fourth dock? How many docks do they have? I thought they only had three docks before. Well, no. Never mind. We'll get these guys sorted out sooner or later. 
very ambitious to try demo shit. Points for trying, though. Points for trying. Get these rams in. Drop them off here. But our ship should be able to take care of this. The original level played a lot more like an RPG. Um, and I did like it, some aspects of it, but there were other aspects of it that I didn't like. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the RPG style. Dock should go down relatively soon now. Should be all over. The Emir's galleys may as well have been piles of tinder. Our Romans siphoned enough Greek fire to keep the harbor in Bari aflame for days. Fire for days. Smiles upon us. Our sappers have undermined the city walls and opened the breach. Nice. Get us in there. Well, he cannot withstand us now. Fell deeds and eternal glory await us. In the name of God, attack! Attack! Panos was offered lordship of Bari after his victory, but he declined, wishing to live out his days in peace. Having brought glory to his house, he settled down and started a family. The old man mused for a while, his memory slowed by wine. Louis, on the other hand, ran into trouble with the Lombards. They were not fond of yet another Frankish conqueror treading on their soil. Suddenly, a bell rang, signaling an attack and calling the city to arms. I donned my armor and rushed out the door, leaving my father to his thoughts. Lovely. So it's a very easy map overall. Um, I think the main thing is to fend off the early attacks with your town center while you get to the castle age and uh, send some aid over to the Franks here before they get completely overwhelmed. I think we just have to make sure that their camp doesn't get completely destroyed. Uh, so setting up a castle here is more than enough. And once you destroy these two Eastern Saracen camps, really there's not much else to do. The rest of this is just kind of walking through and crushing the opponent. And the docks getting destroyed is an afterthought. You don't really need uh, to defend your water at all, as demonstrated here. You can actually just free free fish boom, which is pretty nice. And only really attack these docks once you are ready to do so. Anyway. Pretty nice first level. My name's been the Clever Fool. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.